Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here, and in this video, we're gonna do a speed test comparison of the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max with the Poco X3. So these two devices are in the 17,000 to 20,000 price segment. Now both of them have uh, uh, a lot of similarities, but they do differ in a lot of other aspects as well. So we'll do a quick speed test comparison. So first, let's uh, go to the settings. Uh, let's go to the about phone. So here we have the MIUI 12 version with Android uh, 10 and uh, Poco's MIUI for Poco. And uh, we have 6 gigs of RAM and uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon 732G Octa-Core processor. Now the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max has uh, MIUI 11. That's uh, not the latest version. It has not got the MIUI 12 yet. Android 10 and uh, 128 gigabyte storage. And if you go to the all specs, 6 gigs of RAM. So both the devices have 6 gigs of RAM and uh, uh, Android 10, but uh, they do differ. Here we have the uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon 720G octa-core processor. And here we have the 732G and MIUI 12 versus MIUI 11. So those are the aspects. So let's just clear off all the apps in the background. So there you go. So let's uh, also take the network connections. So both are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Both are in airplane mode and uh, similar situations, uh, similar conditions rather. And uh, we'll be doing the speed test uh, with these uh, apps. So 16 apps, we'll see the memory management of these two devices as well. So before starting the test, once again, we'll just clear off all the apps in the background. So let's start the test. Uh, we'll be opening uh, Asphalt uh, 9 first. Let's see which is able to load Asphalt 9 faster. So both have the game turbo enabled. And uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon 732G is a newer chipset compared to the 720G. And uh, we have the software difference of uh, MIUI 12 versus MIUI 11. So let's see which is able to load uh, Asphalt 9 faster. So more or less expected uh, the Asphalt 9 was a tad faster, not by a huge margin though, but uh, it was faster on uh, the Poco. Uh, X3. The next uh, is uh, Temple Run 2. So let's see which is able to load Temple Run faster. You can see almost same time, uh, no major difference here. Next, uh, Play Store. Again, almost same time, probably Redmi Note 9 Pro Max had a minor edge. Chrome. Here, uh, Redmi Note 9 Pro Max had uh, a lead. Facebook. Here, almost same, uh, but uh, Poco X3 had a minor advantage. Twitter. It was faster on uh, the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. Instagram. Again, it was faster on the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. Ghana. Ghana is faster on the Poco X3. Amazon. Amazon is faster on the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. Flipkart. Again, uh, Redmi Note 9 Pro Max had an advantage. File Manager. It was faster on the Poco X3. Settings. Almost same time. YouTube. Again, faster on the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. Here, you could say almost same time. Camera. Again, not much of a difference. Maps, it was faster on the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. Now, what you could see here is that uh, Redmi Note 9 Pro Max, even with uh, uh, the older version of MIUI, does perform really well. Now, Poco's uh, X3's uh, MIUI 12 isn't optimized as such uh, because this is the first version. So, probably in the coming days, uh, you might see uh, more optimization. So, right now, you could see that it's not the fastest out there when we did the speed test with uh, the Redmi, I mean, the Realme 7 Pro and the Realme 7. You could see that the Poco UI was not the fastest out there. Uh, also, uh, it mean, it needs a bit more optimization. So here, the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max has been there for almost like uh, six months now. So it is more or less optimized with software updates. Uh, so this uh, did perform slightly better than the Poco X3 as of now, both with six gigs of RAM. Now let's uh, go to the memory management. That's where, uh, uh, let's see which is able to retain the apps. So maps are retained on both the devices. Camera is retained. Uh, Gmail is retained. YouTube is retained. Settings is retained, File Manager is retained, Flipkart is retained, Amazon is retained, Ghana is retained, Instagram, Instagram reloaded on uh, the uh, Redmi Note 9 Pro Max, Twitter, both have reloaded it, 
Facebook again both have reloaded it. Chrome is available on both the devices. Play Store again Play Store was reloaded on the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. Temple Run again uh, both have reloaded Temple Run. So memory management seems to be quite similar but uh, Redmi Note 9 Pro Max has uh, reloaded a few more apps compared to the Poco X3. Now finally Asphalt 9. So Asphalt 9 is again reloaded on both the devices. So what you could see from this uh, speed test is that in terms of opening of apps, uh, surprisingly the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max with the uh, older version of MIUI performed slightly better than the Poco X3. Now in terms of uh, memory management, the Poco X3 definitely has the lead. Poco X3 is not a uh, really optimized UI but still uh, it is better than the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max in terms of uh, memory management and it was able to uh, keep uh, more apps in the memory than the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. So that was the speed test comparison of uh, these two devices. So hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit the red subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.